Hello and welcome to part three of the Dream Machine. Uh, just thought I'd do a little video before the engine goes for its final stage of testing, which will be in the um, blue and silver race car. We're going to book a test, um, give it a good run round, make sure there's absolutely no way this thing's going to have any problems when it goes over to its new home. So I just uh, thought I'd do a quick look over the engine. Also, I want to give the cam cover another coat of paint as it got a little bit damaged when the uh, engine was running on the dyno just put things rubbing on it and such so we've just come inside the engine and had a little peep uh, chain looks good tension all looks good well the cam lobes and the, the cam follows all look to be getting on really well so that's all nice to see and i just thought i'd do a comparison this is a, a standard imp camshaft um so i thought i'll we'll do a little look at this because it's just so different just to uh to obviously a race one as you can see, the uh, the lift on that is roughly about 210 thou, and then we're pushing nearly 500 with this. So, yeah, you can see how things have developed over time. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll get this bolted in the car now, and then we can look forward to doing a test, and we'll try and get a video mounted where you can actually see what's going on and hear what's going on correctly. Right guys, I've finally got the engine in. You've probably just watched the time lapse of the um, first engine coming out. The reason why there's no time lapse of this going back in is I did originally uh, video it, but it was a disaster. Everything went wrong. I managed to burr the splines where the clutch went into the input shaft and I couldn't get it to go on. and So I just had to turn the video off. My excuse is it's hot. It's like 30 degrees there today and uh, it's been a bit toasty in here, so it's been a bit of a nightmare day to be honest. Um, but it's in now, about to do the first start up. Um, so have to adjust the cooling system a little bit to make it fit. Obviously throttle linkage, all that. We've just got it together, so hopefully ring up, we can do a test tomorrow, just a quick test around the car track that's local to me. Um, so what I'm gonna do, we'll put water in it. Um, I know it's got oil in it, but I will just check it because it's a um, good habit. It's come straight off a dyno, so I know it's got oil in it. I can see that we've got oil in it because the last thing we want to do is, uh, oh, I've forgotten I drained the oil out of that because it was dyno oil, it was running in oil, and then to fire it up and, oh, we just run it dry. So I'll go to the front, put the pumps on, I've got water on, hopefully it'll fire up. Let it run it for a second on video, then I'll warm it up and then we'll give it a blip once it's warm. Pressure, let it warm up, and then we'll see where we're at. Right, warmed her up, she's uh, doing really well. Bit of a rattling noise from the clutch, the five and a half inch clutch, she just rattle around, it's not the engine. So we'll do a walk around, check the temperature and stuff, and the oil pressure, and then we'll give her a little blip, and then we'll be ready for tests. Mm-hmm. 
Right, well that'll do for today. The throttle spring is far too strong, so we need to sort that out, a few of bits and pieces, and then we'll get loaded ready for a test. Right, we've arrived at Three Sisters. Beautiful sunny day. Bit of a go-kart track. We'll have a fly around. I professionally fitted a camera mount in the car with some zip ties so we can uh, hopefully mount the uh, phone and, and get a bit of footage. We've got it on charge because uh, unfortunately the battery got a bit flat. Got the old Hoover tube, bit of a breather there because obviously this engine runs a different type of breather to my race car which uses this tank here. So uh, we'll, get, we'll get this in the car and get going round and see what happens.
just completed. I've only done five laps and I'm absolutely knackered. Um, car survived well, really pleased with that. Seems to love a bit of pain. We'll turn the camera around. Yeah, everything looks good in here. We um, sorted the oil leak issue out with the, uh, the zip ties on the dipstick. So um, we'll have to make sure we get a retention spring on that. Everything else was good. Oil pressure's cool, water temperature's perfect. The oil has been up to um, 93 and I'd seen 70 on the water, so that's cool. We're not yet near the 100. So all that's good. 